<laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to the C&D Kitchen here in Wandsworth in London with me, Dane and Sally and we are back with another recipe video. But I think we can all agree that last year was a bit rubbish but 2021 is the year to treat yourself! Our shop is about to open, we hope, fingers crossed, on Monday, which is the 12th of April. We literally cannot wait. We brought our snazzy new sign to pop in there to remind you guys when you come that it's time to treat yourself. We all deserve it. We do, and we're going to treat, you can treat yourself with cakes, mm -hmm. cookies, brownies, and all the coffee that you desire. Yeah, absolutely. And one of our favorite recipes that we've been doing since day one in C&D Soho, which we've never shared with you guys, is the Biscoff Rocky Road. It is yeah. ridiculously easy to make. It is absolutely delicious to eat. And you can make it in whatever size you like, which is great because we got the whole gang in today. We've got loads of cakes to bake and decorate, and they all deserve to treat themselves with a Biscoff Rocky Road. A huge slice of Biscoff Rocky Road. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, you don't need to make it this big. I kind of recommend you make it this big, but you know, we'll give you a small quantity in the description box below, maybe like an eight inch tin or something yeah. like that. <laughs> but we're going big. So we've got a lot of ingredients, <laughs> like a kilo and a half of white chocolate that we yeah. need to start off by melting. So we've got our bain marie over here and we're just gonna tip all of this white chocolate in, okay? Here we go, don't spill it. Don't spill it. <laughs> Quite a lot of chocolate. <laughs> so we're just going to heat that over low temperature just till it's nice and smooth, um, which might take a little while for us. So in the meantime, we can prep our cookies. Yes, and we're going to be using Lotus Biscuits Biscoff. Obviously, it is a Biscoff Rocky Road, <laughs> and these might be called Speculus where you're from, or um, what else are they called? I don't know. That's I it, think isn't that's it? it. Biscoff, Lotus, or Speculus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can get them in these biscuit form, or you can get them as spread, which we also have. Um, and they're a really nice kind of cinnamony, lightly spiced, gingery cookie. You often get them with like tea, served with tea or coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in your hotel room on your Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you only get one, which is rude. I want like 900 grams like this. <laughs> yeah, so we're just breaking them into little bits, which we're then gonna mix through our Biscoff Rocky Road. Yeah. So we just need to wait for this to melt, which like I said, <laughs> <laughs> so my 1.5 kilos of chocolate has finally melted. Now if you're doing an 8 inch version at home, you're going to want about 500 grams of chocolate and 300 grams of cookies. Yeah, and I've crushed all these, but I held some back um, about a big handful, so we're going to decorate on top with those. Nice. Now into here, it is time to add the best part of this, the most important part of this. <laughs> and that is the Biscoff spread. Mm. We've just heated this up a little bit in the microwave just to loosen it so we can combine it with our chocolate much more easily. So I'm gonna pour in my 900 grams, but if you're doing the eight inch, you want 300 grams. So I'm gonna pour and you're gonna stir. Yes. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's more Biscoff than I thought. <laughs> we just had a discussion off camera about whether our bowl was big enough, and I was feeling pretty confident, and now... No, we have to be <laughs> confident. We are confident. We it are will confident. Fit. Right, so next up we've got some butter. So I've got 150 grams, so for you and your 8 inch, you want 50, and we've just melted it down, and again, we're just going to pour and stir. So glossy. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Don't you just want to dab straight oh, in? Oh, I just want to dunk my face in it. <laughs> 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 okay, then next up, we're going to go for salt. So I'm going to go for a whole teaspoon because this is enormous. Um, salt goes really well with this because it's kind of uber sweet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it kind of balances it out. Yeah, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm Pour that in. Lovely. So good. Now it is time to combine this all with our cookies. Yes. <laughs> and to see if our bowl 
is going to fit. Right. Well, maybe we should put our marshmallows in first, right? Okay, let's yeah, do let's our marshmallows. Do and right. then we can just pour everything on top. So we want nine cups of mini marshmallows, but if you can only find, you know, big marshmallows, you can just cut them up with a pair of scissors. Yeah. <laughs> or a knife, whatever works. So that's three. I'm going to get my hands in and mix. Oh, yeah, go for it. Okay, that is nicely mixed through. So at home for your eight inch, you want to use three cups of marshmallows. And now it is time to mix the two together. Yes, with brute strength. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I've been working out ready for this <laughs> moment. Here we go. Okay. How's that looking, Sally? I can't <laughs> looks, quite see from the huge bowl. It looks absolutely <laughs> amazing. And yeah. Sarah, who stood over there, who is the biggest Biscoff fan, <laughs> I feel like she's just getting she's closer eyeing and it closer. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready yet, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at this, people. It looks amazing and it smells incredible. So now, all that is left to do, just put it in our put tin. Put it in our tin. Yes. Right. You, I'll oh. grab this. <laughs> <It's> choreographed. <laughs> Very well choreographed. <laughs> right, shall I tip yeah. the new? And we've just lined it with some greaseproof paper on the bottom and on the sides so we can get it out nice and easy. Ready? Yeah. This is enormous. Look at this. And you just want to spread it out and press it into all the corners so that you get nice kind of straight edges and you don't get kind of wonky bit in there. So once you've got it nice and level, all you want to do is crush up your remaining biscuits and sprinkle some marshmallows on and it's ready to go into the fridge. That is it. <laughs> now, all that you need to do is put it in the fridge, leave it to set for about, well, it depends what size you made it, but ours will go into the fridge for about 40 minutes to set nice and firm, and then we'll chop it all up and dish it out to these guys. I like this. You're ambitious with your 40 minutes. I think it's going to take longer. We shall see. We'll let you know. Right, come on. <laughs> It's ready. It is ready. <laughs> now it is time to get it out of the tin. So if you've lined it with greaseproof, you know, you can use it to lift it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's hefty. This is like amazing. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, let's peel down these edges. <gasps> mm. Yes, love it. You ready to cut it? Ready to cut. It's gonna do a little slice. Okay, a little slice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to the crunch. Oh, can we peel that bit off? Yes. Just do the whole thing. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Uh... <gasps> oh my God, look. Ooh. Look at that. That is what you want. You get the layers of the biscuit, crunchy biscuits, the chewy marshmallows, the chocolate that just so umptious and moorish. <laughs> mm. Right, let's cut a bit off so we can try it. Yeah. Give me that knife. Okay, ready? How much do you want? This much? Oh, a big bit, big bit. A big bit. <laughs> <laughs> you can have that bit then. Okay. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but. It's mm. so good, and the chocolate just glides through. Like mm. you can just. Mm. I know it you looks have to have really this. like simple. Yeah, it's something I keep going back for time and time yeah, again. Yeah, it is absolutely amazing. Um, when we started selling this, we had people coming in asking for it. So. Mhm. Mm. Mm. Now you got it. You've got it. Make it. 
or come and see us in Soho. April 12th. Ooh, literally <laughs> cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. We yep. hope that you come and see us as soon as it's safe for you to, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have this in store. We'll have all our cookies in store. Cornflake brownie. Mm, and the coffee and the hot chocolate. And of course, cupcakes. Of course, cupcakes. I hope yeah. you get them. So we hope to see you then. We'll be there too. Um, hopefully, Gemma will be around a little bit as well. Yeah. So you can hopefully meet us and the rest of the gang. And do say hi if you come in and you see us, yeah. We can sort of do one of these, like high fives. <laughs> 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 That's what the cool kids do these yeah. days. Cool, so we hope to see you then. Stay tuned to the channel. Remember, we're working on that croque bouche and many other recipes for you guys. So we will see you really, really soon, hopefully in Soho. Who wants some Biscoff Rocky Road? <laughs> that was a unanimous yes. <laughs> so we'll see you next week, guys. Enjoy.